Kenya with a huge population of about 50 million people now, and about 66% of this population uh, below the age of that five years, um, there is a necessity to really uh, work uh, or have programs that are more now involved in youth activities, more particularly because about uh, every year we are releasing about 1,000 youth into the market and uh, the economy is only able to absorb about half of that. So we still have about about 500,000 youth still out there in the market uh, who need something to do. And agriculture has not been uh, a very exciting area for the youth uh, and uh, the need uh, for that. So as a country uh, with such a huge population, a very high population growth rate of about 2.5% uh, and uh, where agriculture remains the main uh, 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 the backbone for the economy. There is therefore a uh, need uh, for youth to participate more uh, in agriculture. Alternatively, and we also know uh, naturally, the future uh, is urbanization. As much as uh, this is a reality, there is still also a desire for a country like Kenya, which is still at uh, the low middle income, uh, to still find uh, activities that can still keep the, the youth at the rural level before finally at the end of the day they would migrate to the urban environment. But the urban areas at the moment also is not in a position to absorb uh, large numbers of youth. So the need uh, to intervene for the youth. The food security project, uh, the one I work for, is currently working in Western Kenya, in three counties, uh, where nearly a quarter of the Kenyan population is in this part of the world. Uh, unfortunately, the income levels are still low uh, among households, so even the capacity for them to provide opportunities for the youth is still low. Um, in addition to the general production, uh, agricultural production, the opportunities for processing are still low. So there is a need also to create opportunities for how, in addition to production, what other opportunities within the agricultural value chains possibly the youth could tap in. We are fortunate that uh, the region we work, the climatic conditions remain very favorable, the rains are good, and also the soils are relatively good. Of course, after many years of use, of course, there are still a number of issues that need to be looked into. Um, uh, and, and so we see this as a huge opportunity. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the trend in Kenya for urban and, and rural population is that in the next uh, number of years, it's obvious that uh, the urban population will take over the, the rural population. However, before this happens, uh, and before the urban setup develops capacity to absorb this kind of population, they are already, they need the immediate need to uh, have interventions at the rural level more so uh, focused at the youth. Um, within the GIZ agricultural program, in addition to the food security program, we have a number of other projects. So in, in uh, uh, this project mainly address the various thematic areas. One of them is the food security and nutrition. It's a, it's a key topic. And now with the realization of this youth demand, uh, the need for improved extension advisory services, more embedded on the vocational training and education systems is an area of focus. We are more interested in the good agricultural practices. Agribusiness is a key topic, as we have just been listening to the youth. Um, this is an area of interest where money can easily be generated along the various uh, the value chains. We are talking about uh, strengthening organization of, of actors in the agriculture sector both whether they are farmers, uh, service uh, industry players, including the youth uh, who need to better organize themselves so that they can champion their interest and lobby uh, for intervention that can uh, support them and they can be able to uh, uh, engage with, with governments. Other core areas of interest uh, which our projects are focusing on is agricultural finance, uh, the issues of uh, infrastructure, the improvement of markets and roads, and particularly this is an area where the, the, the financial cooperation with the KFW is focusing on, particularly on the infrastructure. However, for the technical cooperation, the GIZ, among the issues I've already discussed above there, we are also discuss, uh, looking at issues on improvement of soil fertility. Soils have been used for many years, and uh, 
uh, acidity levels have gone high, the, con the humus content or the organic matter content has gone down, and therefore there are need to have new uh, production systems that can be able to rebuild uh, the soil, uh, the, the soil you know, fertility. Other areas of interest uh, which also our projects are focusing on, mainly is on uh, with the devolution in this country now that we have moved from a centralized system to a devolved system, the devolved units uh, yet do not have capacity to work on policies and strategies and as programs we are also building capacity of these county governments to work on policies, to align them with national, uh, national vision and them to be able to strategize better to implement uh, agricultural activities at their level. Youth and gender, of course, is a key topic, and that's why today we are discussing youth as a main element of it. And in it, we are also in, uh, in it uh, factoring a lot uh, the element of gender, so both the young men and the young ladies uh, participating a bit more in agriculture. Overall, our desire is to have a, a sustainable, inclusive, uh, and innovative uh, uh, models for agricultural development in the region we are working. In the three counties of, uh, of, uh, of the West, we are mainly in Siak, Kamega, and, and, and Bungoma. And in these three counties, we are working very closely with the, with the public sector, with the governments, with these county governments. In these areas, we have made uh, substantial achievements so far. Uh, we currently have been able to reach more than 100,000 farmers. Uh, uh, we, a number, quite a number of farmers are have uh, registered uh, satisfaction with the type of services that are being rendered under the program. The aspects of productivity from the interventions we have been uh, implementing, there is evidence like for the data sector, there has been substantial increase, and among other sweet potato maize and there, there is a substantial percent of, of uh, uh, increase in productivity. Other aspects uh, uh, with regard to policy development, uh, currently the Kenya government is working on uh, on an agriculture sector transformation and growth strategy. We are also con uh, working with the national government and the county government towards making this strategy complete and uh, later on implementable. Other activities we have uh, realized is the, 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 the rehabilitation of degraded land, and more than maybe 10,000 hectares has been worked on, among many other uh, uh, things we have done. For the youth, uh, which later on we shall hear in this presentation, uh, we have been able to support uh, three agro-business associations from the three counties where we are working with. And these three uh, youth associations are currently uh, being supported to improve their capacity to organize themselves better and also to address some of the technical challenges they are, they are facing. Thank you.